Hey, what's up? It's Etienne. I'm going to go through my thrift store finds for the week, kind of show you the stuff I get. A lot of my friends with regular jobs, uh, they ask me what kind of stuff I get, what to find, what to look for. Um, so I'm going to show them and I'm going to show you the kind of stuff that I get and what kind of money you can make from it. Uh, first thing, I, it's kind of easy to find and overlooked a lot are cookbooks. Um, just like anything, most of them aren't worth much, but the Better Homes and Gardens and the Betty Crocker ones from the 90s, kind of, but more like the 80s and back, uh, those are worth decent money. They sell on e eBay really fast. Uh, they'll sell in a antique booth really fast. And like I said, there's kind of a lot of them out there. You want the ones with the rings. The other ones, they're just not as popular. This one I found, Goodwill, two bucks. I'm gonna put it on eBay, I'm gonna get 15 bucks for it and it's gonna sell relatively fast. The other thing uh, that kinda is not too difficult to find and gets looked over a lot is Fiesta Wear. These are some Fiesta Wear mugs. Uh, I got more than these three, but I just got these three colors. We're probably going to keep these actually, but these uh, by themselves are like three to five dollars, which isn't really worth your time to sell them on eBay for that much. But if you get a set of all different colors, say like you get like six all different colors, put them together in a lot, they look really cool when. They're all different colors. I think they look cooler than when it's just one color. Uh, you can get like 20 bucks for like a set of six that's different colors, especially if it's uh, the older stuff. And if you have some really desirable colors, you can get even more. Uh, so like six bucks, you can turn that into 20 bucks. You want what you want to look for at the bottom there is the Fiesta. Here's the newer stamp. Uh, the older stuff is a little bit more desirable, but it's not necessarily the age with Fiesta, it's the color. So, here's these. I can't believe I found these, or my girlfriend found these, actually. Uh, purple little saucers. These can go for like 10 bucks each on eBay, uh, just because they're purple and they're Fiesta wear. Um, I won't be selling these on eBay because my girlfriend's in love with them. Uh, she's not going to let me touch them, but still, this is what I'm saying. Uh, pick that stuff up. doesn't matter if it's all the same color, so just pick it up as you get it. Build up a lot of like six or ten. Put it up there. Somebody will buy it. The other thing with Fiesta Wear, the pitchers, the salt and pepper shakers, the butter dishes, the stuff that's kind of like off the beaten path, uh, that stuff goes for a better money. This is a pitcher, it's one of the smaller pitchers. I've actually never seen one of these in a thrift store. I've seen them at state sales and they always want too much for them so I never buy them. This on eBay will go for 20 to $30. So not a bad pickup. I think we paid $2.99 for it. But again, that's going into personal collection. Girlfriend loves it, so what are you gonna do? Obviously with glass, you always want to get Pyrex. I found these. It's a set of three nesting mixing bowls. Uh, there are four to this set, so it's incomplete. And they have the glass bottoms, which means that it's the newer Pyrex, not the older stuff. However, even though it's missing a bowl and it's the newer stuff, because it's three in a set and they nest, these can go for like $30 on eBay. I don't think I'm gonna get that because I'm gonna put this in my local auction so I don't have to ship it. Um, I think I'll probably get like maybe 15 bucks for it. We paid three bucks, get 15. I'll do that any day of the week. What you want with Pyrex is the older stuff, one, and two, if you can find purple, or no, it's not purple, if you can find pink or blue that's super desirable stuff. I found this guy. Uh, I'm not actually gonna sell it because if you can see, there's like some dishwasher damage to it. 
Uh, I have kind of a good reputation in the Pirates community. I don't want to lose that reputation. So I'm just going to leave this in my personal collection. I think it's kind of cool. Um, we'll bring it out and put, you know, sell it in or something at Thanksgiving. It's pretty cool. But just not up to my standards to sell. This, however, is a pretty desirable dish. Uh, this is a mixing bowl, blue snowflake. This one bowl will go for like $15, $20 on eBay. Again, I'm going to put it in my local only auction. I know so I'm not going to get as much. However, I don't have to pay shipping. So I'm thinking I'll get 12 to 15 bucks for it. We paid, I think, $3.99 for it. Star of the show for Pyrex this week is this guy. This is a blue lasagna dish. Uh, it's number 933. May not look like much, but these sell for like 50 bucks each on eBay. This one has some chips and stuff in it, uh, so it's not perfect. I still think I'll get 30, 40 bucks for it. Um, so that's kind of a no brainer. I think I paid a little bit more for this. I paid five, but I shouldn't complain because if I can turn five into 40, I'm doing it. Uh, and as far as glass goes, last but not least, found a box of Waterford Crystal. Now I normally stay away from clear glass. I definitely recommend you stay away from clear glass as well. However, Waterford Crystal is the exception to the rule. Waterford goes for good money, has a really good following. This set sells for 60 bucks. Two glasses, $60. Here's a little, uh, the Waterford mark. I don't know if you can see it. You want to look for that in the box, obviously, is it going to help. Any other clear glass, I completely stay away from. You cannot give the stuff away. However, Waterford Crystal, I paid, I even paid 15 bucks for this because I saw it and the guy knew what it was, so he wasn't going to give it away for like a dollar like everything else in the store. But I paid it because, like I said, these go for like 60 on eBay. So that's kind of a no-brainer. Okay, that's enough for glass. I'm going to pull this next thing out, and you're going to think I'm crazy. You're going to think nobody's going to buy that. However, I sell a bunch of these. People do buy them. You want to pick these up if you can find them. VCR. Now, I know what you're saying. Who, who wants a VCR? Uh, most VCRs are not worth that much. However, if you do have like a booth at an antique mall, hook up a little small TV to it, stick it on top of a VCR, any VCR as long as it works, um, put 20 bucks on it, you'll sell it within a month. It's an easy flip if you can go find a VCR for like five bucks. This VCR in particular, however, uh, is worth a little bit more than five dollars. You can see the model there. This is a high-end VCR. Uh, what tipped me off was that it's a five disc DVD changer. So I was like, okay, I need to look at this one a little bit closer. Uh, it was only $7.99, flipped it around in the back. This is what you're looking for with VCRs. One, if it says SVHS on it, it's a really good VCR, or if it says DVHS on it, it's a really good VCR. You wanna pick it up and you wanna do the research. Two, if you have a hunch, look in the back, and what you're looking for is that component video out and the S video. If it has those two, that means that this is a high quality VCR. They didn't make a lot of like super high end VCRs. So when you do find one, they're still worth quite a bit of money. This VCR in particular goes for about 120 bucks on eBay. Uh, I'm not going to get that for this one because has some dents and stuff in it. Uh, I haven't tested it, but assuming that it's functional, I'm gonna put like a hundred bucks on it or best offer. I'm thinking after I pay shipping and all that, I'm probably gonna make like $70 on it, which isn't bad for $7.99. Last thing I got for the week, I saw this thing, we were kind of running late, we needed to go see a movie. Um, I did like, I don't know, a minute worth of research on it, so not enough to really know what it was. 
but enough to know that it was worth something. I had a hunch. A lot of times with this stuff, you're just kind of operating on a hunch. It's a sleep number dual temperature system for your sleep number bed. Um, like I said, we were walking out of the store. I didn't have a lot of time. It was $9.99. I had a coupon for $5 off, so it was five bucks. I was like, okay, I'm gonna gamble. Got home, did the research. Wish I would have had a little bit more time because there's another part that goes with this thing. So here's, this is the unit. I don't know what this is doing in the middle of their store, but this is the unit itself and the remote. Basically it just blows hot or cold air into your bed. Um, there's another part that's like a mattress topper that this thing blows into. Now if I had taken the time to find out that there was another part that accompanies this, this thing is complete, but there's another part separate from this box. I would have like a $300 thing um, because I didn't take the time, because I didn't have the time. Uh, I'm looking at like a $60 thing, which still isn't bad. I mean, I turned five bucks into 60 bucks, but it would have been really nice to have that little mattress topper piece. And instead of having 60, you have like 300. Is what it is. Can't win them all. Uh, I went out on a hunch. It worked. I went out on a hunches and bombed horribly too. So, you know, I don't like to gamble with more than like five or ten bucks if, if I can help it. I just was doing so good with everything else. I was like, you know what? Uh, this one's probably a win or two. That's what I got. You know, probably going to make 150, 200 bucks. Not a bad day. Uh, I spent four or five hours going around looking for stuff. It was fun. Uh, I don't have to work for some jackass telling me what to do all day and yelling at me. You know, if you could do this every day, it's not a bad living. I, I only have time to do it about once a week or so. This was an exceptionally good week. Um, but it's not out of the ordinary for, for me to go and find two, three hundred dollars worth of stuff. Uh, it just doesn't happen every time. So that's my stuff. Uh, I'll see you next time with some more stuff, hopefully some better stuff, and tell you about it. We can go from there. See you.